In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to use the auto trace function in SolidWorks. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to start a new part. So I'm just going to click on the file and new and then click on part and say OK. I need to start a sketch. So I'm going to go up to sketch and click on sketch feature and I'm going to click just the front plane. OK. Now, one of the add-ons, auto traces and add-ons, so I need to go up to the SolidWorks toolbar, across to Tools, down to Add-ins, which is about the one, two, three, four, fifth one from the bottom. Click on there. And I need to check that auto trace is clicked here and on the startup, and say OK. Now, to access the um, sketch, picture function which we need. I'm going to go up to the search bar here. I just change that so it makes sure that it's on the commands. You'll see that it's on commands when it says search commands. So if I just type in here sketch picture, it should come up and give me the option. Here we go. So click on there and it'll ask me which picture do I want to put in there. Okay. Now I've currently not saved a picture so I'm just going to quickly talk you through what kind of pictures are suitable. So if I go to uh, my Google and I select a, um, uh, let's take, let's say dinosaur. Okay. So I want to say dinosaur and then click on images. Now, obviously, if I was trying to draw around any of these pictures, they've got lots and lots of different colors and that's going to make it quite difficult to actually do. So if I say dinosaur and then say silhouette, Okay, that's going to be a lot easier because what I can do is I can select this middle color and say, right, whatever this color is here, draw all the way around it. Okay, it doesn't have to be black. I, um, I can go for, uh, let's try a different shape. Let's have a look at these ones here. So this, um, now when I'm looking at the shapes, I need to think carefully how it would actually cut round as one object. Okay, so let's try. So I want to try... Uh, again, I'm just having a quick look at the size. So this one here, I can see that this one's a thousand by twenty-four by seven six eight. Um, this one here is only two hundred, so that's going to be much smaller. I can, if I go to my search tools, I can actually say search for large or medium, and that should give me better quality pictures. That'll make it easier to to draw around. Okay, uh, so I'm going to click this one here. It looks a wee bit like Nessie, so I'm going to click this one. Okay, now I need to make sure that I click on the view image because otherwise this is just a thumbnail, so it's an image of an image. So I click on view image, okay, and then this is the picture. So I'm now going to right click on there and save image as, and let's put that into, um, let's just put it onto my desktop just so we're able to find it. Okay, so we're going to save onto there. And then I can close that off. Now, to f so now I'm back to um, SolidWorks. So again, up to get picture and select on there uh, to my desktop, and there I can find my picture. Okay, and say open, and that should put that in. Now, when it first goes in, it will be it'll look huge. Okay, so I'm just rolling the um, the mouse wheel forward just so I can actually kind of get an idea of so I can actually see the, the whole thing. Okay, there is the ability to be able to change the size here, however, I found that by doing that, it actually loses it, it's not so easy to draw around. And we can do the scaling right at the end when we take the part into 2D design, it's easier to scale there. Okay, so I'm going to um, click on the next button here. If I can't see this next button here, that means I've not got the auto trace selected. So remember, if you can't see that there, you need to go SolidWorks, Tools, Add-ins, and tick next to where it says auto trace. Okay, so I'm just going to click there now. I use the eyedropper tool here, and then I'm just going to select the middle of my object okay now if this is multicolored or in any way different shades or something like that I might have to do multiple traces it can get quite tricky so if it's one solid color it makes it much easier I can go begin trace and that's done quite a nice job of going all the way around okay I can adjust 
using these three thing, um, three dials here. So if I have a quick look and see if it's made it any better, if it makes it a bit clearer or anything like that, and I can I can change that around. And sometimes that can have a, a big effect, sometimes less so. Okay. But if you adjust that until you're happy, when you're happy about how it is, okay, obviously I'm going to have to delete around the edges and be tidy up a little bit, but that's not too bad. So I'm going to say apply. And then I'm going to tick on the green tick here to say OK. All right. Now, obviously, at the moment, my lines and my picture are sort of on the same view. So if I right click, I'll have the option to go suppress, and that's going to hide the picture so I can just see my lines. OK, so there's my lines. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, delete around the outside and I'm just going to tie these little bits up here just to bring those lines in so I can actually have it as one solid picture. OK, so into sketch, so top left sketch. And then I'm going to just click on one of the lines and that should take me into the sketch mode. OK, I'm going to use the trim entities. I'm going to delete around the outside first of all. So click on trim entities up here and I'll always make sure it says trim to closest. OK, so now I can just move around the outside. Now, sometimes you won't have to do any of this. It will just have sort of just worked. Other times you'll have to do sort of less and more. If you've got a lot to do in here, it might actually be worth starting the process again with a different picture. But you'll need to determine how easy that is and how accurate. OK, uh, I need some lines. I'm just going to use straight lines OK, for this. And I can zoom right in. And I should get an orange dot where it goes from there to there. And then I'll do another one from there to there. I'll just have a quick look around uh, and draw from there to there. And I think the final one I needed was, oh no, there's a few in here. Go back to there. One of these nose and one across the top of his head there. Okay. I'm just going to say okay. Now, uh, click the green tick and that should stop that. Now, what I do need to be careful of is any bits that are sort of sticking out. So obviously if I try and extrude that, if there's any little bits sticking out as single lines, the computer won't know what to do with it. So again, I'll need to just go trim entities, uh, click on trim to closest, and I can get rid of any little bits that are sticking out. So it is worth just spending a minute or two zooming around, sort of in and out, especially kind of any little points of this. You can obviously tidy that up, so I could just get a, a line and draw it from there to there, and then just use the trim entities and get rid of that bit there, just to make it a, a, a simpler shape for the computer to be able to deal with. Um, again, there's a that's quite jagged there. I could I could just sort of delete that and bring that across there. I should be okay with being able to cope with that. It's not going to be able to cope with this here. So I will again trim entities, um, entities trim to closest and just delete that bit there and that bit there. So it's one single line going around the outside. Anything sticking out, I need to get rid of. And again, just sort of going in and out and just checking that it's one single line all the way around, especially when you see lots of points together like this. If I had more time, I'd probably smooth that out, just a single line going from there to there and delete all the ones in between. Um, just checking again. Sometimes as well, you might see it looks like the lines are a bit thicker. And you've actually got one sort of on top of the other. So if you have that, obviously delete the any extra lines. OK, I'm fairly happy with that now. So I'm going to click on the green tick and say OK. And come out of the sketch mode, so top left exit. I'm going to click on sketch one, so I've highlighted my image, into features and extrude. OK, now if that's worked, I should be able to just say 3 mil and OK. If it's not, in this case it hasn't, so I'm just going to say OK. And usually it will change colour to tell me which bit's not working. So actually I can see up here on his nose, this bit is in light blue, the rest of it's kind of grey. That's telling me the issues around here. Okay, so I'm going to cancel the extrude. I'm going to zoom right in here. Aha, see, there we go. Look, there's a, there's a gap there. So back into sketch, top left sketch, click on the line. I'm going to use the line tool again, and I'm just going to draw from that point there to that point there. OK, now I'm going to say uh, yes, OK, and again, click on there. So again, click on image uh, sketch one, and I should be able to go to the so sketch one, features, extrude, and that's now worked. OK, I can see it's all one solid thing. OK, so if I click on there and say 
three mil. Okay, that should now work. Okay. If it's doing like this one, I can actually just click on that center bit and then say okay. And that's now worked. Um, for some reason, it doesn't seem to have liked this top bit here. Okay, so again, with a bit more time, I'd probably undo that uh, extrude. So I can actually go right click, delete, extrude. Um, and just see what's happening here. This why this bit here has not been liked. It's possibly this extra line. So I can sketch. Uh, click on the line, and I can just sort of draw in maybe a line from here to here, and say OK. And then we use the trim entities. Delete on there. Trim to closest. Delete these two lines out here. Say OK. And we'll try that again. I'm just going to check and see if there's anything else strange and odd going on there. No, it should be OK. So out of sketch, select sketch one, into features, extrude, click on my shape, and say OK. Now, OK. So that has, to the majority, if I tidied up the corners, it would have worked a little bit better. But it has done that. Now, what I do need to think about before saying, right, I'm going to then now export this and cut this out is how I'm going to attach this onto the cross piece. Now there's various ways I can do it. I can either cut out a rectangle from the center and use it as like a, a slot to put the um, custom follower guide in, or I can add like a little tabby bit. So a, a little sort of rectangle sticking out the bottom, 10 by three mils, and that will fit into a slot. Okay, I'll quickly show you how to do it. Obviously I need to delete the extrude because otherwise I can't draw into sketch and I'll just pick a rectangle here I might actually try and see if I can straighten that up a bit there you go so I just went to the view uh, so I know it's going to stand upright and I'm just going to draw a rectangle uh, in there okay so I've selected sketch now draw my rectangle and it's going to fit there now I'm not too worried about the fact that there's a kind of hole there because obviously the piece that fits into it from behind which is going to attach onto the bit going up and down will fill in that hole obviously I'm not again not worried about the dimensions once I start picking dimensions it makes it quite difficult to be able to um, extrude and things like that so I'm just going to say okay on that and exit sketch and again I can click on sketch one features extrude and that should be able to pick up that it's that area and say okay all right now once i've got that piece okay obviously i can now extrude um export as a dxf into thing that's on uh, another tutorial